Ask you the question this afternoon, does your council provide value for money? This is in the wake of what is happening in Birmingham. Look around at your local authority. What do you see? Do you see money well spent? Are the bins collected regularly? Are the streets kept nice and clean? Do you find the street lights are on and in full working order? Are the roadworks nicely coordinated so you don't clog up the entire place? Is there some nice parts of the town centre with a lovely flower bed and maybe the occasional statue? Don't waste too much money on art, but you might fancy a little bit of it. You are paying, after all, a couple of hundred quid a month, whatever it happens to be. Um, if you've experienced that, where you're paying more but getting less, 0344 499 1000. Just run it by me. What is your local authority, your council? What does it look like? And compare it to maybe five years ago, where you will be paying more today. Are you getting more? Are you getting the same? Or are you demonstrably getting much less? What does it look like in your neck of the woods? And what are your council not doing that they absolutely should be doing? Because I think we've got a crisis coming around the corner here. When you start getting into social care issues and adult further education and goodness knows what else, areas that you really need money for. You need a growing amount of money to finance. And if that starts to disappear or we cut back on it, where do we end up? Lines are open now. 0344 499 1000. As we've been hearing, Birmingham is to raise council tax by 21% over the next two years as the cash-strapped authority looks to make £300 million in saving. Birmingham, savings. Birmingham isn't the only council feeling the pinch. 95% of local authorities will hike the rates by 5%, adding about an extra 100 quid a year to a banned D property. Joining me now is the Conservative Opposition Leader on Birmingham Council, Councillor Robert Alden. Robert, good afternoon to you, sir. Uh, this is an extraordinary amount of money. I don't think I've ever read that headline before. I know it's over a couple of years, but a 21% council uh, tax hike. That is steep by any measure. Absolutely. That means at the end of this council tax, right, another 21%. Council tax will have gone up by 77%, £855 in Birmingham since 2012 when this Labour administration took over. That means they're getting fewer services in Birmingham for higher taxes. That's a double whammy on premise. They shouldn't be having to face to pay for the mistakes of this administration. Just run us past what those council meetings look like, if you would, when, when discussions are being had about, you know, what stays and what goes. I and mean, we, we're already aware that apparently street lighting will take a hit, bin collections will take a hit as well. The cost of a funeral will increase. I mean, there's a big old list there and none of it makes for nice reading. Absolutely. And one of the problems here in Birmingham is that the administration have been very secretive about all of this. So the budget meeting is in two weeks, and the council have only last night published these budget plans. Other councils across the country published them in the autumn, giving the communities, the opposition, outside parties a proper chance to review them and to come forward with alternative proposals so that frontline services could be protected. The council would say, I guess, uh, in their defence, we did try to get them on, but they were having none of it, frankly, and I don't blame them. I wouldn't talk to me if I was them right now. But nonetheless, they were, were quite silent on their reasoning. But what we do know is one of the factors might be this equal pay claim, which has come around the corner at 100 miles an hour and totally scuppered anyone's ideas of balancing the books. Is that fair? Absolutely. So what happened last year was after hiding the equal pay crisis happening in Birmingham from councillors on the opposition side at the last year's budget meeting. In the summer, the Labour group were forced to admit that they've got a 760 million liability on equal pay. That's added to a botched IT rollout of an Oracle system that's now costing 140 million when it was budgeted to cost 19 million. Has meant that the council's got itself in this financial crisis where it's unable to balance the books through the incompetency of their own administration. If you were running the council, uh, right now, Robert, um, how would you have dealt with this? Because some of these issues can come around regardless of who is in power, whose name is on the tin. Um, I mean, if you've got to pick areas for cutbacks or you just have massive, even bigger hikes in council tax, what would you have done? Well, I think first it's important to understand that the Labour administration shouldn't have been surprised by equal pay. They were warned by ourselves, by the trade unions in Birmingham, by officers and by the auditors that there was an equal pay issue. 
but they failed to take heed of that and act accordingly to prevent the taxpayer having to pay this bill. Um, now the situation the council's in, it should be working with community groups in the city, working with the opposition to actually protect frontline services. The council could be doing far more about working, sharing services with neighbouring authorities, sharing back office costs so that savings can be made there by protecting frontline services that residents rely upon. I'm looking at things like uh, social care here. I mean, can, can any authority afford to reduce the amount of money spent in social care? We're forever hearing the headlines that we're not spending enough, anywhere near enough on social care. Uh, Birmingham are looking at £23.7 million worth of savings in that area. Is that doable? Well, I think this is where we're seeing the impact of a decade of failure from this Labour administration because they're now providing um, savings which, frankly, most people will consider they won't be able to achieve. Over the last year, eight out of ten savings they put forward, they failed to meet. And, of course, it's that constant missing of savings targets that they provide, mm. which has caused the council to now have to go even further on things like adult social care, which are going to impact residents negatively. Yeah, uh, and that has a compounding effect, of course. That, that doesn't get any better any time soon. What are your constituents telling you, Robert, in terms of how they feel about this huge rise in their council tax? Well, frankly, residents are angry at the way the council's handled this, and they're angry at the way the council are refusing to own up about the causes of their mistakes here. The auditors, the officers, the commissioners, and even the National Labour Party have been clear. The Birmingham Labour Administration needs to stop blaming others for their mistakes start taking ownership to try and fix them. That's what residents want to see as well. We'll watch with interest. Robert, thank you for your time. Appreciate that, Councillor thank Robert you. Alden, leader of the Birmingham Conservative Group. Uh